Southern California Edison has now moved about a third of the still highly radioactive spent nuclear fuel from cooling ponds at San Onofre into dry cask storage on site. A nuclear fuels engineer introduces a video of the operation. Safety of workers and members of the general public is our number one priority when handling fuel. Each canister of fuel rods is moved with meticulous care a few hundred feet and lowered into vertical casks set in concrete. Only there are heavy concrete lids visible right next to the seawall. At a community engagement meeting arranged by Edison, Chief Nuclear Officer Tom Palmisano says the plan is to move the nuclear waste elsewhere once it has cooled to safe interim storage, possibly in Texas or New Mexico. Our commitment is to, to support any reasonable and safe way to move fuel out of San Onofre whether it's a permanent repository, one of these two projects, or something not yet on the horizon. But Greg Yasko, who headed the Nuclear Regulatory Commission in 2012 when San Onofre shut down because of a radioactive leak, says don't count on it. Because quite frankly, once they get loaded, I don't see them ever taking those canisters out of there. Realistically, they're not going to move them out. Uh, so those permits will be extended, the operational period will be extended repeatedly, and the, you will have a de facto kind of burial site there. Yasko says the problem of what to do with nuclear waste is a national one. Very quickly people came to this conclusion that the way you solve this problem is you find a place where you can bury, it's literally called bury and forget, right? You bury the waste, you forget about it. Tom English is a retired electrical engineer who's worked with government and industry on nuclear waste disposal. He says moving spent fuel rods out of cooling ponds and into dry cask storage is a good idea, but not if the bottom of those casks are just feet above mean high tide levels. If you're involved with high level nuclear waste disposal, the first thing that you think of is keep it away from water because the water allows the radionuclides to spread through the environment and causing all sorts of havoc, wrecking ecosystems, cancer, etc. The company that designed the storage system, Haltech, made sure the bottom of the casks are just above the mean high tide level. On its website, Haltech says, quote, Our goal is to maintain the canisters in such a pristine state that they can be readily hauled off to New Mexico as soon as the federal government is able to so order. But the federal government has failed for decades to fulfill its promise of finding a permanent nuclear waste storage site, and promises of interim sites are just that, promises with no guarantees. English says sea level rise may well overtake Haltech Tech's projected timeline and flood the casks before they can be hauled off. He compares this system with the faulty steam generator design that caused San Onofre to be shut down in the first place. We have a design here which is uh, even more irresponsible than the design of the steam generator. And they're pretending the design is beautiful. Haltech and Edison are still working on ways to inspect and monitor the casks for cracking, which English says is required under the license. Those aren't real right now. It's like, we're going to figure that out later, you know. You should basically say, look, this, uh, you guys can't do anything until you figure out how to inspect and monitor. Edison's Palmisano admitted in March that a pin had broken in one of Haltech's new casks, but that the industry has not figured out how to put the spent fuel rods back into the cooling ponds to see if they have a problem. The real challenge as we would understand it today, and nobody has had to do it yet, is, is the reflood. It's certainly technically possible. Palmisano said it would take a couple of years to get regulatory approval to move the spent fuel back into the pools. Yasko was the head of the Nuclear Regulatory Commission for three years, but he has little confidence the NRC is doing what's needed to protect public safety. Over years, they're at the top of the agency, the political appointees, people like me, um, that you've tended to have individuals appointed in the, those top positions in the agency, the commission itself, um, who have, have had more of a focus on the industry than they have on, on the public. And I think that's unfortunate, and you know, it's, I think that's where the focus is. Yasko says there are better alternatives, even if it's moving the waste to the other side of the freeway, 80 feet above sea level on the Mesa. I think the first thing that I think they should do right now is stop loading cash. However, the report does not analyze the nuclear waste storage site because the draft report explains its operation is under the exclusive authority of the U.S. government. Allison St. John, KPBS News.